Good morning. As I uh, have mentioned to those who have already submitted their PowerPoint, our next assignment will be to participate in, participate in a discussion board using our uh, PowerPoints and go, doing a voiceover of the PowerPoint that you did. You don't, don't have to create another one. So I want you to use uh, Screencast-O-Matic, which is a download, free download. And you this is an app that you can use uh, forever. You can send, uh, create uh, videos that you could send to friends, relatives. Again, it's, it's like sending a greeting card, except it's it's more personal. So I hope that you find this app use, uh, useful. I want to create this short video uh, PowerPoint and voiceover PowerPoint actually using screencast o -Man. So uh, your first thing you want to do after you download it, you will turn on the app, it's like you would turn on any other application on your computer, and you'll get this screen right here where it says uh, this is your presentation, your first slide, and at the bottom there's a bar where you click the red and it'll record for you. You can also use this, it doesn't have to be a PowerPoint presentation, you can use a full screen of yourself if you just want to send a greeting to someone. You can put your, uh, your picture over the PowerPoint so while you're talking, someone can see you talking as well as hear you answer your presentation too. So you have three. And then the third option is just the one you have right here that I'm showing you right now, which is just the PowerPoint presentation itself. So you would click the record button. Once you're done recording, you would click done, which is here at the bottom. Once you're done recording, then you'll get this option. Or these three options a video file save as a video file upload to screencast domatic or upload to youtube you want to pick save as a video file that's what you will do then you'll see this next option which is to publish you want to publish your recording once it's done publishing you will get this option here recording uh publish to video file so you want to browse folder and it will save I believe the default is desktop. It'll be on your desktop. This is recording 24 that I'm doing right now. You see, I've used it for other recording. So you get this option. You can right click and give it a name. My favorite dog or uh, my favorite sport, baseball. These are some of the topics I've seen so far. So you would just right click and rename it if you choose to do so. So this would be on your desktop, or you could save it anywhere you want, but desktop, I believe, is the default. Once you have saved it, you want to upload it onto the discussion board. This is what it looks like. It'll say share your PowerPoint presentation. There's a link to download the app right there in the instruction. And you will upload it, uh, just like if you were making a discussion board post. And your instructions are to view at least two other presentations and offer uh, feedback to them or pose a question. Ask them, you might ask uh, how long someone's been playing a sport or how long have you had your dog or what does your dog like to eat? Anything. But pose some kind of question or make a comment. Offer feedback on the presentation. If you enjoyed the presentation, that's great, but say why you enjoyed it. Don't just say, I enjoyed it, nice job, and that's it. I'll be looking for that. So um, say why you enjoyed it. If someone does ask you a question, make sure you, you answer their question. I will take off points if someone asks you a question and you do not answer it. So check the discussion board every day to see who has responded to you. And as always, do not hesitate to contact me if you have any questions or concerns or issues. Thank you very much and stay safe, stay healthy.